प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड वॉच थैंक यू वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द कॉस्ट एल्यूमिनियम रॉड शोन इज मेड ऑफ एन एल आई फॉर विच सिग्मा यू टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मेगा पास्कर एंड अल्टीमेट कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ और स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी मेगा पास्कर यूजिंग मोहर क्राइटेरिया डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ टॉर्क टी फॉर विच फेलियर शुड बी एक्सपेक्टेड सो दिस इज द फिगर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द गिवन डेटा इन गिवन डेटा इट इज गिवन दैट सिग्मा यू टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मेगा पास्कल वेयर सिमिलरली सिग्मा यू सी दैट इज गिवन एज वन ट्वेंटी मेगा पास्कल वेयर एंड पी दैट इज लोड गिवन एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स किलो न्यूटन एंड डायमीटर ऑफ दिस रॉड इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू मिली मीटर फेयर सो वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द टॉर्क टी टॉर्क टी क्लियर फॉर फेलियर should be expected that how much torque be applied that will ensure or the, that will cause the expected failure clear so let's start with the solution again you can see there is a p load applied in this direction so sigma x will be equal to p by a clear similarly sigma y that is given not given that is zero and tau of xy will be equal to tau we, because due to this torque there will be a shear force but that is not given so we will find this so sigma x is equal to p is 26 so it would be 26 into 10 to the power 3 and area is pi by 4 into थर्टी टू थर्टी टू मिली सो इन मीटर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टू होल स्क्वेयर सो वेन यू सॉल्व इट सिग्मा एक्स कम्स आउट टू बी थर्टी टू पॉइंट थ्री टू मेगा पास कर क्लियर सिमिलरली सिग्मा वाई इज आल जीरो एंड टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज either tau or tau of xy now we will find the principal stresses why to find the principal stresses because we it is given that solve this by using mohr criteria so mohr criteria we need sigma a and sigma b which are known as principal stresses so sigma a is equal to sigma average plus r sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r clear so we will find sigma average sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 sigma x is 32.2 mega pascal sigma y is equal to 0 so 32.32.32 divided by 2 will be equal to sigma average will be equal to 16.16 mega pascal clear now we will as r is equal to on sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square so as this is not known so we will not here calculate r so we will just put this r so this sigma average is equal to 16.16 plus r and sigma b is equal to 16.16 Minus R, and the unit will be mega pascal. Clear? Okay. So you can see that this R is will be a positive value. So it will this sigma A will be a positive value, and this sigma A is uh, sigma average. Again, you can see that sigma average is equal to. Thirty-two, sixteen point one six, and this R is greater than sigma average because this will be the same value. 
so there will be addition of so this sigma b will be negative so since sigma average value is less than r clear so the point stress point stress point will lie in fourth quadrant so we will fourth quadrant so again equation for four quadrants using uh, uh, could, uh, Mohr's criteria is sigma a over sigma u t minus sigma b over sigma u c will be equal to 1 that is for expected failure so we will put the value sigma a is equal to 16.16 minus r plus r divided by sigma u t which is given that is 60 mega pascal and sigma u c is 120 so 60 mega pascal minus this is equal to minus 16.16 minus r divided by 120 is equal to 1 okay so you can see there is a common term or we can also write it as 1 minus 1 over 60 plus 1 over 20 you can do it these are very easy r will be equal to 1 minus 16.16 divided by 1 uh, sorry not 1 divided by 60 Clear plus 16.16 divided by 120. So if you further simplify it, so the R values comes out to be 34.61 mega Pascal. Okay. So now you have this R clear. So you can put it in this equation to get tau of x y. So I will write here as r is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square this is tau so in term of tau of xy i can write tau of xy is equal to r square minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square now you have both values you can put it 34.61 square minus this sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 will yield you 16.16 for whole square okay so when you solve it so the value of shear stress comes out to be the value of shear stress comes out to be 30.6 mega pascal okay now this shear stress is due to the torque that is applied and increasing so from torsion from torsion as you know that this torsion this torque is equal to shear stress into j divided by c but remember this shear stress is equal to t into c divided by j where t is torque c is the radius and j is the polar moment of inertia so if you write in term of torque t so it will be tau of x y into j divided by c again c is equal to d by 2 because it is radius and we have given diameter so 38 divided by 2 is equal to 19 millimeter and again it will be equal to 0 0.019 meter similarly j is equal to j is equal to pi by 2 c uh, sorry 
D is 19 or 36 or so D is 32 sorry D is 32 so let me correct it this is 32 so it will yield 16 it will be 0 0.16 here so it will be 16 in 16 this is 32 okay so it will give me 0 0.61 so that will be equal to pi by 2 c4 clear so c is 0 0.0164 and when you calculate it uh, sorry j is c4 okay so you will get certain value clear again okay so now you can put if you want to calculate it or not it doesn't matter but when you put t is equal to tau of x y which is 13.6 megapascal clear so that is 13.6 into 10 raised to power 6 into j is pi by 2 into 0 0.016 to power 4 divide by this divide by c which is equal to 0 0.016 so it will cut and here it will be q so torque t will be equal to when you calculate this it will be equal to 196.9 newton into meter or you can say torque is equal to 197 newton meter so this is the torque that is when you will increase the torque clear uh, determine the magnitude of torque and when this torque is equal to 196.9 R 197 Newton meter so it is expected that it will fail under the Mohr's criteria this is this was a very interesting problem and also the easier one so again thank you for watching my videos